Which is the easiest and the fast way to speak English without any efforts? I have been following this rule. So you can also try this rule today and you're going to speak without any inconvenience. Are you ready to listen? If yes, say yes. Okay. See, there are some people, they are so afraid to face people, face Britishers, face the people who ever speak effective English. Do we have anything like effective English, good English, bad English? Not like that. As we speak in Tamil, you know, Britishers, they love speaking because it's their native language. Do you often think grammar while speaking in English? If you are the person, just listen to this interesting trick which can help you to speak English without any efforts today. I am damn sure about it. If you are sure, make sure of my points in your way of speaking English. Let's start with the way I am going to teach you the five ways of speaking English without efforts. The next common error everyone commits. Let me just tell it clearly. When I was studying in a school, you know, teachers uh, shouting and uh, expecting us to repeat after them. So when a teacher was saying like this, oh, come on, open your mouth loudly and repeat after me, I started to repeat without knowing the meaning of a word and without knowing the correct pronunciation of that particular word. So this is how we have been, you know, practicing something like uh, me memorizing something and doing that without understanding the concept. So this is the blender mistake everyone commits. If you are fond of following formal writing or formal English, you have this bad habit. Try to avoid this. So from your childhood onwards, if you have been facing such kind of listen, listen and repeat, listen and repeat, try to stop that. Try to stop that. Stop doing it. Practice something new. How can you? You can create a story on your own, whether uh, it could be your incident, it could be an um, you know, accident which you saw recently. Yeah, so there are several resources you can find that you can make, I mean, make by yourself. You can create some stories on your own. Even you can just narrate the real incident which happened in your life, in, in your friend's life. Okay, this is the way you have to think. Okay, and one more uh, way can lead the way towards success. Never think about grammar. See, when you start thinking about grammar while speaking English, you cannot give the best to others. You, sometimes it would be a mere disturbance for you even to think further. It may stop you. It causes many, you know, wrong reflection towards the stranger. If you're going to meet someone new, you must uh, know how to interact with them without any efforts. Don't think about the grammar while speaking English. Is it very essential? Is it very important? Do you follow while speaking Tamil with others? Do you follow grammar? Do you follow Yilakanam while, you, while speaking in Tamil? No, you never follow grammar. You love to speak with different accent, different slang. Chennai people, they have different slang. Madurai people, they have different slang, but they love speaking their mother tongue. What is wrong with you speaking English? Whenever you speak English, you people commit one mistake, that is you often think about grammar. When you start thinking about grammar, there you have, you know, made an obstacle for yourself. Break this obstacle today. Don't think about grammar. Whatever comes through your mouth, just speak whether it is wrong or right or whatever it may be, whether it is with correct tense or wrong tense, never mind about that. You need to speak with everyone. You need to speak fluently. When, when, when can you feel comfortable? When you start speaking without thinking about grammar. Try to do this from today onwards. Take a decision from today. So today is a day where you can change yourself and you're go you are going to break that obstacle. Are you ready to break? Yeah. I would like to narrate an incident when I was working as a principal of the school. 
as I informed one of the teachers to present a speech. Okay, she got ready with the speech the next day morning. I was so happy that she would deliver a wonderful speech in the assembly. As I was thinking, oh no, nothing happened like that. She memorized everything and she started uh, stumbling while presenting the particular speech. I was shocked to see her performance. But I didn't just, uh, uh, how to say that, I didn't insist her to fulfill uh, what I expected. I just called her and uh, I was speaking with her for a long time. She just memorized everything and uh, she just uh, repeated everything to the public as what whatever she heard from someone she started repeating the things this is the mistake everyone you know follows from even from your childhood you have been following this kind of uh, uh, repeat and I mean listen and repeat problem I mean rule so this is not a fair one which cannot help you okay don't follow none of these rules it is not going to help you at all so I'm going to teach you an interesting rule which can help you more than this. Try to speak using simple words which are all familiar to you and which you use every day, which you use often, which you repeat often. Okay, so no need to memorize such kind of words. Those words are already in your mind. Just pick the word and present it neatly. Don't memorize new vocabularies. When you start memorizing new vocabularies and presenting in the public you may struggle you may forget the word and you know you will be in you know how to say that you will be in a critical situation whenever you you uh, give the such kind of beautiful presentation in front of the uh, the biggest gathering so don't do that avoid such kind of situations don't create some tough situation and don't make others to be embraced so try to understand new words and practice it consistently. When you, when you feel that I can use these words, you know, without thinking in my mind, it should come from your mind. It should come immediately from your mind. It is not required to trace the word from your mind. It is not required to give time to search for the word in your mind. Okay, it is not essential. You need to pick the words whichever come from your mind straightly, directly, directly from your mind. Try to do this, definitely this rule can help you more and you can practice English very easily and it's not required to speak uh, uh, like Britishers, like having the same accent and have the having the same pronunciation and it's not required. You are supposed to speak as you love to speak, that's all, very simple. Start doing this, definitely these rules can help you and I, I will come with Another interesting rules in the next uh, video. Try to watch the video and subscribe to my channel and watch my rules consistently. Definitely it will help you a lot and uh, share this video with everyone and you are going to speak without any efforts here afterwards. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.